So, digital switchover is finally here and it all starts at midnight tonight soon. If you haven't made the switch to digital TV, you won't be getting any TV channels at all. Yeah, we sent our science correspondent David Gregory to the Recon in Shropshire to see the first batch of Midlands television transmitters get ready to make the big switch. Four tonnes of mast being airlifted onto the top of the Rekin transmitter in 2009. This was the start of the technical preparations for going digital. And today, for the first time, we were allowed up close to see the new mast in place and to see how digital switchover works here at the sharp end. If you're still watching analogue, so if you've only got uh, four or five channels maximum at the moment, you've got another two weeks, if you haven't done anything yet, to get yourself ready before all of the rest of the analogue channels go off. So here's the room the old TV signal comes from. That's Dave, who'll be throwing the switch here around midnight to turn off analogue BBC Two. All right, actually, there's a whole series of switches that are going to be thrown this evening, but this is the one that's going to start the whole process. And once this one's been thrown, then there's no more analogue BBC Two, and digital switchover has begun. And this is the shiny new digital room next door. Once analogue BBC Two is turned off, the digital signal for all BBC channels will be increased. Well, a lot of people uh, complain about the freeview signal because occasionally you get blocking or break up, and that's because it's been broadcast at quite low power up to now, otherwise it interferes with the analogue signal. From midnight tonight, the services go up in power significantly, anything up to ten times, and all of those interference and blocking problems, they literally disappear overnight. Tomorrow, the Rekin and other Midlands transmitters will be joining the digital TV revolution. So we have all been warned, haven't we? And David is monitoring the digital countdown for us now, not far from our studio, in fact, in the heart of the BBC's technical centre in Birmingham. So, David, not everyone's switching tomorrow, are they? So there's no need for everybody to panic. That's right, Suzanne. The Midlands is switching in two stages, and uh, some transmitters, including the big one at Sutton Coalfield, won't be switching until September. But by the end of the autumn, all the transmitters will have switched, and there will be no more analogue TV here in the West Midlands. Mm. How can people be sure when they're going to switch? Well, Nick, the last sign people should look for is actually on their TV screens itself. If you're getting an analogue signal from a transmitter that's about to change, there'll be an on-screen caption that'll come up uh, warning you about what's going to happen. And also, if you have free view from an, an affected transmitter, you'll find you'll get another on-screen message warning you you're going to have to retune. So, David, how much time do people have to get ready? Well, best case, they've got until the autumn. Worst case, it's going to start happening tonight from midnight. So we put an example of the kind of caption you should look for on my blog at bbc.co.uk slash David Gregory. And if you also go there, you can let us know how you're getting on with Digital Switchover. Thanks, David. You can find out more about the Digital Switchover by calling the Switchover helpline on 0800 40 85 900. In the meantime, let's get the weather forecast. Here's Thank you very much, Susan.